Hey folks, Dave Holmes here. Joining me now are Sky, Ross, and Paul from Archiva. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? You yeah. look wide awake. We are. We are. I'm yeah. still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's booze chic. I think you're booze, saying booze right. chic. Yeah, you need puffy eyes, puffy face, <laughs> right. bloodshot. Mm. We'll get on that. Luckily, we got loads of makeup on, so. Yeah. Pardon? Luckily, we got makeup on. His okay. next season's look is boo chic. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, the little makeup conceals everything. Now, new album, Big Calm, yes. doing real well for you guys. I caught your show recently at Urban Plaza. Excellent job. Thank you. Um, tell us about that. You did that in, uh, in South London, near your home, right? The album uh, we did in our own studio, yeah. That's in, nice. In Clapham. Uh -huh. yeah. Does that make a difference? Yeah, because you get comfortable, you know, I think. A lot of bands... Paul lives there. Really? It's got, yeah, it must be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of bands worry about, you know, time in the studio and, and they just clock watch all the time where we don't have to do that. We just chill and when we feel like making music, we do. Mm -hmm. When we feel like playing, we just go to the pub, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of nice and relaxed. And That's great. We did it all on a really low budget and yeah. pulled in a lot of friends to help us out. It was a really good time. That's great. Some of those friends, DJ Swamp, uh, yeah. the next yeah. touring DJ. How'd you get hooked up with him? Um, actually, we we saw him. We saw Beck at the uh, Universal Ampli Amphitheater in uh, LA. LA, and then the next week we were on Jules Holland in England with with them. And uh, I wanted to go up to Swan and say, you know, you're a fantastic DJ. But he came up to me and said, I love watching you. <laughs> <laughs> great. They like, just yeah. love like, praising each other. That's just terrific. Each other's <laughs> <climate>. <laughs> That's terrific. How was it working with him? Uh, it was really good, actually. He's a, he's a really nice guy. I've been hanging out with him in LA recently. Yeah. And record shopping. And yeah. You hang out with all the stars, don't you? Well, all the DJ stars. Oh, okay. <laughs> the stars of the DJ world. How'd you get into scratching? Um, scratching just really appealed to me as a kid. I mean, it, we, I was kind of a bit young for punk, and then hip hop was like the, the next sort of really progressive kind of movement. So it just really appealed with the whole breaking scene and graffiti and stuff. Right. And uh, people just really took to it in Europe. And uh, I got my first turntables when I was around 11. Really? Yeah. Wow. I used to drive my mum mad, and my nan would come in and say, why would you keep rubbing the records? <laughs> You're breaking all the records, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? We got it. We're going to talk a little bit more with more achievement in the future. But right now, let's take a look at the latest video from Real Big Fish. You guys like this album title? Why do they rock so hard? <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? It's a fantastic title. Very, very good. good. And it will be in stores tomorrow, October 20th. This new video is called The Setup. You need this on 120 Minutes tonight. <laughs> Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Dave Holmes. I'm here with Sky Ross and Paul from Archiva. Hello. 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 Now, Scott, you were telling me a little story. We just saw a clip of your Let Me See video. You had a, an interesting moment in a, a recent show yeah, related to this when we video. Yeah, when we was playing in uh, Montreal, and we started playing Let Me See, and someone from the audience handed me their glasses, and I put them on, but Which, I couldn't actually see a thing because they was really thick. It was really cool. <laughs> Which though. relates to the video. Cause yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Yeah. How do you feel about the video making process? Do you enjoy it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed making the part of the process video because yeah. that, that was our concept. And, yeah. I wanted to have a lot of fun with yeah. it. You yeah. just like wearing a tunic. <laughs> I just like wearing a dress. <laughs> well, there you go. It's very comfortable. Oh, you get a lot, good in a dress, a lot yeah. of wind up your legs. It's quite drafty. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's very, very liberating. <laughs> very nice. So how did you come up with this concept? Um, well, I was just a huge fan of Jason and the Argonauts and mm -hmm. Clash of the Titans and that kind of thing. Um, and love the little models and, and just the fact that the special effects were, were so good but so bad, you know. And, yeah. Uh, and so we were kind when of. When you're a kid, they're so magic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And when you're an adult and you watch it and you think, that's just really badly. <laughs> you can magic. really see the wires. Yeah. 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 When you're a kid, it's magic. like scary, you know, when the, when the skeletons come up and they're like, you're like, oh, oh no. Definitely, yeah, but as a, as a child, oh, yeah. it's magical. Now, who and or what is Techno Babble, the director of this video? Um, it's uh, a guy called Jez and his partner called Tracy, um, and they, they take turns. Uh, producing and directing mm -hmm. and they did um, the orbital videos uh, for the box and the saint oh those are great mm, yeah. yeah and they're just they're just really lovely people to work with and they pulled in this huge team mm -hmm. and we did it over four days and they've been was, like sleepless for about a week you know and just yeah. Yeah. there was a lot of love involved in the video it was a lot it's not fun. often you okay. can get people if you come up with an idea you know they really ran with it mm -hmm. you know if it's not their idea normally they're not so passionate because it was all their idea but they um they just loved it, you know, and they, they really, really took hold of the concept and, and okay. they did as best a job as they could and we were really thankful for that. Cool. Well, we're going to check it out right now. Would you like right. to introduce it to the folks out there in yeah. TV land? This is part of the process. Enjoy. I'm on 120 minutes. Here with Morchiva. Y'all are out on tour right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah, and you're headlining. 
Yeah. Yeah, and we've got the Panisse brothers supporting us at the moment. Great. Yeah, and also, we, when we played in New York, we had uh, a guy called Jim White supporting us. He's a, like a weird kind of psychedelic country singer. Yeah. He's a weird psycho. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we had the uh, Freak Brothers. Freak Brothers. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy formerly in New Kingdom that also appears on our record, Big Calm, the right. title track. Right. Yeah. They're a really cool rap band. Yeah. And there's a guy who just sits on a big wheel. He does. He just goes around. Yeah. Cycles around yeah. the stage. Rolls back and forth. I kept waiting for him to do something. And he just... <laughs> no, he didn't. No. He plays the big wheel. He's got some great tattoos, though. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that definitely from that play. Yeah. Away. And we're playing with um, the Bare Naked Ladies. We're doing a couple yeah. of shows with them, supporting yeah. them. Um, we're That's great. trying to get them to support us. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, they just blew up in the past few months in the states. It's been unbelievable. It's been yeah, it's doing great so we're doing Boston and Philadelphia. Is it? Yeah. yeah, we're doing that with them. Oh, they got them. huge enthusiastic audiences too. So cool. that'd be good for you. I love their new video with the yeah. Dukes of Hazard car and the stars can out. Yeah, it's very nice. And I like the Don's La Maison thing yeah. they say. Don's yeah. La Maison in in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, you did some Lilith dates over the summer, am I right? That's right. Mm -hmm. How'd that come about? Um, I don't know, actually. I they think just... Sarah McLaughlin was a bit of a fan. Yeah. And I think a management company were kind of into us as well. And Because yeah. uh, the same management company manages Bare Naked Lady is probably uh, how we got that gig as well. Okay. Um, I manage all the really ca Canadian acts. <laughs> yeah. Why don't they just call it the Canadian fair? <laughs> <laughs> good girl. <laughs> that was a good one. Now, who, was there anybody on there that you had to see when you... Missy Elliott. Yeah. Yeah. Missy Elliott. Yeah. Isn't she great? She's yeah. fantastic. Oh, she's I'm so glad that they put her on that. Yeah. She's fantastic. All right, we're going to talk some more with more Chiba, but when we return, we're going to have the latest from Everlast, formerly a House of Pain. You just saw them, didn't you? Yeah, um, uh, yeah apparently he turned up at our show in L.A. He's a fan. He's good. Well, now you can right. check his video out next on 120 Minutes. I like this one. Hey, I'm Tony. <laughs> Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Dave Holmes. I'm still here with... You don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> Sky Ross and Paul from More Chiba. Now, y'all were grimacing when we played that uh, the tape of uh, Tape Loop there. That was one of your a couple of videos? years old. Well, that was one of our early videos. Yeah. And it was done on a low budget. Yeah. And, uh, I think we were, we were a lot more low budget than those days. Yeah. Yeah, well. But you got to start somewhere. That's right. Now you're slowly taking over the world, right? Yeah. Slowly, yeah. Very slowly, slowly taking over the world. We've got, the we've got a couple of islands in uh, Southeast Asia now under our power. <laughs> I'm asking some weapons. Yeah. I'm building this big satellite system. Good. Mm. And you've got some fantasy bands put together. But uh, once you're big enough, you're going to mm. unleash got, on the rest of the world. We've got a great new band called Band for Life, B-A-N-D. And mm. uh, our first single is going to be called I Like Drinking and Driving, <laughs> which is a kind of beach voice. They're thing. kidding. Don't do it. Folks at home. It's a great dance that goes with it. Yeah. I like drinking and driving. Okay. It's like Beach right. Boys. Kind Thank of you for that. Yeah, definitely. Quick. Somebody needs to be a spokesman for yeah. drinking and driving. Yeah. Now, on a much more positive note, though, you guys are on the uh, Red Hot and Rhapsody album. How'd you get mm. hooked up with the Red Hot organization? They kind of approached us, really. Yeah. We just sit around at home, wait for the phone to ring, <laughs> and we always get these great opportunities. Yeah. And, uh, they, they just rang and we said, yeah, we'll do it. She let's do summertime. Yeah. Is that one of your faves? Um, mm. It's the only one we knew. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And this <laughs> guy's particularly good at singing summertime. Okay. She sang it in a pub once with, like, there was a, like a karaoke kind of keyboard player. Yeah. 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 And, um, and so we said, yeah, we'll do summertime. And they let us do it. And I think it's going to be the single. We're going to make a video to it, which good. is going to be cool. Good. It's out, I think, pretty soon. Great. Red Hot and Rhapsody, and it features, like, Finley Quay. Natalie Merchant, David Bowie. Right. Who else is on it? Any more? I'm not sure. Like, more Chiba. More like, Chiba. Oh, yeah. Bobby, what more do you Bobby need to know? Bobby Womack and The Roots. Really? Yeah. yeah. Great. And it raises so much money yeah. for yeah. such a good cause. So pick up Red Hot and Rhapsody if you haven't already. Also, while you're at the record store, you might as well pick up Big Calm, the mm -hmm. More Chiba album. And, of course, who can you trust if you don't mm -hmm. already have it? And check them out on tour. Where you guys, you guys are going all over the country, right? Right. Yeah. And then you're heading back to England, right? With uh, you're gonna get a box for your mom. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're playing the Royal Albert Hall, which has been sold out for two months. We're going to get the nice Queen's job. box, and apparently it's got its own toilet in the box. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not that, not that the Queen goes to toilet. Bomb-proof curtains? Yeah. The Queen doesn't go to toilet. The Queen never goes to toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bomb-proof curtains, yeah. Wow, that's impressive. So your mom will be 
watching you in style. Right now, let's check out a new video from Everlast. This is from his album, Whitey Ford Sings the Blues. It's called What It's Like. Thanks again, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Come back soon. We will.